Welcome back to our realm of luxury and genius opulence. Today we are going to take a tour of the charming opulent $20 billion worth properties owned by the Abu Dhabi royal family. From palaces and hotels filled with gold and silver in Abu Dhabi to the most expensive and exclusive mansions, villas and houses in Europe, this royal family literally has a hard time keeping track of the majestic properties they own. A few years ago, they had to hire an expert to locate a massive villa in Spain that was costing them $700,000 a year to maintain even though King Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan, MBZ for short, and his family never put a step in it. Their properties in the UK are so magnificent, historically important, and located in scarce locations in exclusive areas. Some Britons launched a lawsuit against them purely out of envy and jealousy. Stay tuned to learn more about the Abu Dhabi Royals and their $20 billion luxurious properties of mostly opulent mansions and villas. Arab royal families have a very long history with the United Kingdom. Their relationship of friendship and mutual benefits goes back more than 120 years, mainly because during the Ottoman Empire's role over the Arab world, these royal families had no power at all. However, after the Ottoman Empire collapsed in 1917 and the British took control of the Arabian Peninsula, these old Arab monarchs resurfaced and quickly made deals with the British government and crown. The deal was simple. Each royal family was given the right to rule its kingdom in return for convincing their people to not rise against the British occupiers. The formula worked like magic, and before you know it, the Arabs began finding more oil and gas than they will ever need. The Americans immediately took great interest in the area and began increasing their sphere of influence at the British expense. One by one, the oil and gas rich Arabian Gulf states of Saudi Arabia, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, Oman, Kuwait, and Bahrain began gaining independence. By 1983, the last Arab Gulf state gained full independence from the British, and since then, all of these kingdoms have turned their countries into luxury havens worth envy. This is the main reason why almost every single Arab royal family member, mind you there are about 20,000 of them, owns at least one property in the United Kingdom. They initially began to buy UK properties as vacation residences, and soon, the whole thing turned into an investment scheme. Today, the Abu Dhabi royal family owns some quite intriguing addresses in London, including 17 Bruton Street, which was once a collection of upper-class townhouses. Believe it or not, 17 Bruton Street is where Queen of England Elizabeth II was born. Many of the Queen's fans used to go look for this address, where she was born, and would find in its place London's super upmarket Mayfair district. The block of townhouses was bombed during World War II, and since then, it was transformed into a market. They also own the infamous Ecuadorian embassy in Knightsbridge, where WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange was holed up for seven years while claiming diplomatic immunity. Additionally, they own the nine-story luxury apartment block, one Kensington Gardens, and the Time Life building on New Bond Street. Outside of London, Sheikh MBZ owns the luxurious 18th-century built Ascot Place, near Windsor Great Park. The Ascot Place is a stunning 18th-century mansion that spans 400 acres of parkland. The estate boasts a lake, grotto and estate cottages. Its tranquil beauty seemed to offer the perfect address for someone who prizes his privacy, with the Queen at Windsor Castle among its closest neighbors. This massive majestic heritage property dates back to 1339 with owners including Baked Beans Tycoon HG, Jack Hines too. Today, the mansion is valued at $120 million. To accommodate the support staff and offices for this marvelous mansion, the Abu Dhabi Royals bought the nearby Han Ridings, a string of four luxurious detached 1960s built homes on a quiet cul-de-sac. There is also 46 Berkeley Square, an opulent building that is home to Annabelle's, the exclusive nightclub and so-called celebrity playground, operated by the millionaire restaurateur Richard Caring, where membership fees start at about $10,000. MBZ also owns many of the buildings surrounding Berkeley Square, such as the Tilney House, which serves as the home of Holbein Anstalt, the secret of Liechtensteinian company that manages most of MBZ's and his Olneyan family's property interests. The building is located just off Park Lane, 
and overlooks the five-star Dorchester Hotel. The high-end office block on 50 Berkeley Street in Kensington is also owned by MBZ along with surrounding buildings and land. The building is home to the global commodities company Glencore and also boasts a five-star Asian and Italian restaurant, Novikov, popular with wealthy diners. Here is something rather strange about the Abu Dhabi Royals. They own so many properties, they literally could not locate their opulent villa near Madrid. They had to hire a real estate agent called Andrew Lax to locate the hilltop villa 40 miles north of the Spanish capital. 15 staff members work permanently in the villa, which was never occupied. It cost MBZ nearly $700,000 a year to maintain it, but ironically, he did not even have an address for it. The massive $50 million luxurious villa features every amenity a person can dream of. Yet the royals left it abandoned as if it meant nothing to them. Appliances and home electronic systems were still wrapped in the manufacturer's cellophane when they located the villa, even though they owned it for years. Once a week, the sheets that had never been slept in were stripped from beds in the 11 bedrooms along with towels. They named the Villa Al Dafra after an oasis town on the Arabian Gulf. Well, maybe now they will remember that they have a sumptuous superior villa in Spain. In 2021, MBZ booked two entire hotels, with a total of 190 rooms in Unmass in the French Alps, to accommodate his entourage of servants and staff for a whole month, while vacationing in his nearby Al Navda Palace in luxurious Vitra Monthu. In the Riviera in southern France, MBZ owns a $30 million villa, which has been described as a fashionable enclave overlooking Cannes. The villa has its own private funicular, connecting it to the stunning beachside resort. Back home in Abu Dhabi, MBZ spends most of his days working at Qasr al-Watan, which means the palace of the nation. Abu Dhabi's Qasr al-Watan is a beautifully crafted tribute to the region's Arabian heritage and artistry. Past meticulously landscaped gardens and sumptuous fountains sits the looming structure that is the official presidential palace of Abu Dhabi, a building so grand that one can't help but catch their breath at first glance. Its sheer scale and remarkability are striking. It took seven years to build. The opulent structure features stunning gold-plated ceilings and massive Swarovski chandeliers. Everything in it and about it is eye-watering. Inspired by Mughal-era design, the palace's architecture incorporates classical local motifs such as the arch, dome, and ornate tilework. The doors of the palace are made of solid maple, while the design features hand-carved patterns and 23-karat French gold detailing. Located at the heart of Qasr al-Watan is the Great Hall, the crowning jewel of the structure, measuring 100 meters by 100 meters. The hall's main dome is one of the largest in the world, its massive ceiling is covered with $100 million worth of gold leaf that is changed once every three to five years and is centered with a 12-tone majestic chandelier. The Abu Dhabi ruler MBZ and his family do not like to stay at hotels when they vacation or visit other states on official missions. However, they do own perhaps the most luxurious and prestigious hotel in the world. The Emirates Palace cost more than $3.2 billion to build and there is plenty of gold plated everything in it. By all means, it is a truly gorgeous luxury five-star hotel. It has been operated by Mandarin Oriental since January 2020. The silver, gold, and glass mosaic decor is evocative of Arabia's rich history of hospitality. This luxury accommodation, with the latest technology, offers guests the very best of new and old world charm. All rooms and suites feature luxurious bedding and well-appointed furnishings. All rooms have spacious marble bathrooms and come equipped with an iPad mini with integrated room controls, interactive HD TV, a choice of over 1,500 TV channels, complimentary movies, on-demand services, and free high-speed Wi-Fi. Every room also comes with 24-hour butler service. The pavilion features panoramic sea views. The hotel has two expansive swimming pools, a spa that offers massages, a full range of lavish body treatments, 1,000 acres of gardens, a golf course, and 140 elevators. The Emirates Palace also has a fitness center and a kids' club so enjoyable, small guests will beg their parents to stay.
The opulent ceiling features 6,000 square meters of 22 karat gold leaf, over 1,000 Swarovski crystal chandeliers, including some of the world's largest chandeliers and the world's biggest dome, being higher than St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The Abu Dhabi Royals own far too many majestic palaces and mansions around the world to mention, and they do like to keep them secret. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit the notification button to get updates on our latest videos that cover the hard to track and elusive luxury, net worth, and business issues associated with our beloved rather secretive celebrities.